Welcome to Spirit School. My name is Danielle Serenk, also known as the Squamish Medium. I am the host of your Spirit School, where I will share all the lessons and learnings that I have uncovered through my intuitive development and mediumship development journey. I am a professional psychic and medium and intuitive teacher and mentor, and I look forward to walking alongside you on this journey. Hello everyone and welcome to your new moon in Pisces forecast. So the new moon is happening on Wednesday, March 6th at 8.03 a.m. Pacific time. And just so you know, I do write the new moon forecast for a blog called Clouds and Dirt. Um, you can go to my Instagram, Squamish Medium, or my Facebook page, Facebook slash Squamish Medium, or if you can find the account Clouds and Dirt. I do write an article about this um, new moon forecast each month. Month. And I do the full moon forecast on my own website, Squamish Medium. Um, and I also record this as a podcast. And at the same time as recording the podcast, I also record a video for my YouTube channel, which is Squamish Medium. So if you are watching the YouTube channel, please pardon my hair. Um, I have a pixie cut, which is a very short haircut, and I'm actually growing it out. And I have no idea what to do with my hair as it's in that awkward growing out phase. So just don't mind the YouTube channel and the little wings I have sticking out um, but do check out the different places that I post all this and see which one kind of resonates with you I know for me personally I find that listening to books is actually more resonant for me than reading them like I've listened to books that I've also read and I've picked up so much more from the audio version so that's why I'm kind of like curious to test out all these different platforms for myself even um you know as my people who like to listen to me and there's hundreds of you now so thank you I'm very excited about that um <clears throat> you know find out which one really resonates with you and follow me there so just so you know that's what happens on the back end of these forecasts. So <clears throat> the new moon in Pisces is actually my favorite new moon of the year. The new moon in Pisces is known as a spiritual and mystical moon. Um, so the new moon in Pisces is where we find our psychic and intuitive abilities may be heightened, in part due to the cosmic dance that Pisces does with Neptune. And Neptune is known as a planet of divinity. So I am a astrology student and enthusiast by any means. I am not an astrologer. And as I go on in my astrology career, these will definitely become more detailed and more expansive. But for now, I just share with you what I know. <clears throat> so just bear with me through my own growth process while I assist you with yours. Um, so this is the ideal time of the year to make some commitments to your spiritual practice and spiritual wellness. <clears throat> Things such as yoga or meditation or chanting um, or even like your daily alignment practices. You, you can even look at going deeper with your devotion, service, and self-love to assist you in connecting with that spiritual your, um, wellness that we're all kind of yearning for. And when I talk about self-love, I'm not talking about the pedicure massage kind. I mean about the self-love that can be felt at the deepest of our soul levels by spending time with ourselves and reminding ourselves of who we really are at the very core of our soul and our being, the amazingness that we all bring to the world. It's about truly loving ourselves with conviction. Okay, so yeah, petties and manis and massages are wonderful and they may take care of us like physically and give us that little bit of rest, but we can all do some good work here with the new moon of Pisces around really loving on ourselves fully and completely. <clears throat> So the Pisces new moon is also all about the dreamer. So are you dreaming up big dreams in your life for your future? Because what you dream, will, you will attract this Piscean new moon. So make sure that your dreams are for your highest good for yourself and all those involved and release any fears around those dreams and those new moon rituals by focusing on the good, positive, and the possible. Pisces has a cosmic energy, making it an ideal time for intuitive development, as I already said, which is an area of, so you need to look at which area of intuitive development is calling you. Are you more interested in psychometry, which is holding an item and clairsentiently and clairvoyantly picking up information? Are you interested in clairvoyance, more that predictive type work of what you see in your mind's eye? Do you like orange, oracle cards or angel cards? So when you look at what divine practice is calling to you, this is a good month to create a commitment to spend time to nurturing those abilities. 
So whether you take a class, you join a development group like I host, or you find a mentor, um, those are just some ways in which you can naturally nurture those intuitive abilities. <clears throat> and Pisces Newman also carries a surrender energy with it. With it being such a dreamy state, we can, we can look to our dream state to get an understanding of what our desires and our fears are and our blocks. So dream journaling will be hugely impactful this month. Um, so in your dream journal, you'd want to make note of anything that comes up around characters or themes or activities, emotions, even premonitions that may arise. Um, no dream is too insignificant. You might wake up and think like, whoa, that was like a really bizarre dream. Still write it down because through the month, you might actually find some themes that keep reappearing that need to be looked at. So Pisces new moon is a great new moon between now and the Aries new moon in April 5th um, to really focus on dedicating to dream journaling, which in itself is a spiritual practice, if you ask me. <clears throat> the exciting thing about doing your new moon work and your full moon work in the way that I kind of teach it and talk about it is that if you do follow the natural rhythms of grandmother moon and father sky so we're looking at those <coughs> you know we're looking at the zodiac of pisces this month <clears throat> if we follow those natural rhythms we'll actually end up covering in a one-year cycle every single aspect of our lives and our physical well-being and our spiritual well-being that could possibly come up which is why i don't like to restrict people on their new moon and full moon stuff but what I offer and what I've been kind of taught through my moon research and work um, with spirit and with books and texts and podcasts myself and just different teachers I've taken on myself is that working in rhythm will always, you'll always kind of find that like ease and flow. So every month we may want to add a wish or intention around financial abundance or, you know, that freedom and that free spirit um, energy. But do try to at least jot down a couple that are in natural rhythms with the new moon energies that come up. So I'm about to list out some more, probably a more fulsome list of the natural new moon energies that come up with Pisces. And then sample wishes and I think that the sample wishes are helpful it's actually how I was taught I had a teacher who provided me with sample wishes and just the way that they phrased them um, really resonated with me and added depth to my new moon work so that's the only reason why I do this month after month as well so the Pisces new moon energy brings that imagination that dream state including fantasy and even confusion so some sample wishes may look like I wish to find myself easily dealing with any confusion in a way that leads to spiritual and personal growth or I wish to find myself converting fantasy to actionable steps to create the life of my dreams I wish for my imagination to be activated in a way that leads me to positive views about my life Pisces energy also brings in inner happiness, including bliss, ecstasy, and universal love. So I wish to consistently experience the joy of my inner being. I wish for spiritual fulfillment and happiness through my spiritual practice. I wish to experience the peace of universal love. Piscean energy also brings in psychic sensitivities, including awareness of subtle energies, which is what mediumship is all about, if you ask me, mystical state, and harmlessness. So I wish to find myself attuned to the powerful yet subtle spiritual sources around me, or I wish to intentionally and energetically expand myself to increase my psychic awareness of the universal and spiritual energies that are eager to work with me. I wish for all fears and anxieties around spiritual beings to be completely lifted for me. And this is super important because this is actually a theme <coughs> I've seen come up quite a bit this month. Um, people I talk to, I'm even in a couple classes myself around intuitive development because I'll never stop learning even though I teach now. I'll still always learn. I'll always have a mentor. I'll always have a teacher. And I'll always have somebody that I'm studying under. And so... Last month um, with Sean Leonard's Angel Tribe was all around like psychic protection and ghosts and earthbound spirits and my beliefs all around all that are all, always shifting and always moving and that's how I like to have my spiritual practice is for it to be 
you know, moldable, right? As I grow, my beliefs are going to change. But what I have found is that there's a lot of people really concerned with ghosts and earthbound spirits. So therefore, there's a lot of anxiety when it comes to talking to a medium about connecting with the other side, because they can't help but think about um, the darker stuff that might come up. And I'm not saying that it doesn't exist, but I'm saying that it is so rare that you may not even have to kind of like worry about it. If you can always put that mindset towards it being of love and good around angel energy or departed loved ones, then I bet you that's the energy that you're going to be drawing to yourself and there'll be a more loving understanding of what's happening around you, okay? Because we all have experiences, all of us, and they're not always scary and dark. They're actually really scary and dark. So be really open to that because I've also come across people and I hope people will resonate with this when I say this but I've come across people who like want it to be bad or want it to be scary and they're almost like unwilling to see the light side um, of spiritual energy so I wish you luck <laughs> I don't want to live like that that's for sure um, therefore my life is usually rainbow and butterflies but that's what I'm going to say about that so if you have anxiety around spiritual connection or spirit energy do some releasing work around that with this Pisces new moon, okay? Because it's all about spiritual, spirituality and your spiritual growth. So we also look at Piscean energy to trust in the higher power, including our higher self. That's that surrender state and that's trusting our spiritual awareness and channeling a spiritual power. So some intentions may sound like, I wish to surrender all worries and anxieties to the healing hands of the higher powers. Whatever those look like for you, you could put God, angels, universe, whatever resonates with you. I wish to trust completely the higher powers that know what is of the greatest good and bring forward an aligned path to my awareness. I wish to easily attract a spiritual teacher who will work with me lovingly on my spiritual growth. It also brings in the energy of spiritual healing, including angelic assistance, spiritual purification, meditation, yoga, and desires for inner peace. So some sample wishes might look like, I wish to easily find myself focused on my own inner peace. Remembering, you can't make wishes for other people. This is an inside job, this moon work. This is all about you and self, okay? So no manifesting for other people, yourself only. I wish to easily find myself drawn to book ending my day with meditation and visualizations. So that's in the morning and that's in the evening before you go to bed. I wish to find myself with ease creating quiet time to nurture my soul. Even if you're the most extroverted person on the planet, you need that self-regulation time by yourself. You need to sit with yourself and get comfortable with your own being, okay? I wish to find myself completely open to receiving angelic guidances and messages. It also brings compassion and unconditional love, including forgiveness, tolerance, non-judgmental thinking, and acknowledging oneness. I wish to remember with ease that everyone is doing the very best they can. Right? Brene Brown talks about this a lot. And when this came up for me, I was like, yeah, Brene knows what she's talking about. We can get pissed off with everybody as much as we want and point fingers and blame, 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 shame, shame, shame. But if we come in with the mindset of everyone's just doing the best they can, that automatically ignites this um, compassion within us for other people and for ourselves. So that's one that's definitely making it on my list. <clears throat> I wish to find myself lovingly accepting, I draw a blank line here, you can fill in the blanks, without trying to fix them, right? We're not here to fix people. We're here to do the solo work, our self-work. I wish to feel love and compassion for others in a way that also serves me. So sometimes I find as people who are service oriented, um, which is a lot of Virgos out there, we give, 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 and there's like no self-preservation so we can burn out and drain ourselves. So yeah, we want to feel love and compassion for others, but we also want to add that we want it to do it in a way that also serves us. Okay, so releasing helplessness and victim mentality such as defeatist mindset, addictions, disappointments, panic, anxiety, panic attacks, and anxiety. Like, hello, this is like half the people I know. Um, so wishing, so I wish for all tendencies of self-deception or deceiving others to be completely lifted from my energy. I wish for all addictions, physical and mental, to be completely lifted to me. So, you know, I find that this negative bias mindset is an addiction. It's like something that comes up all the time is complete habit and addiction. These self-doubt thoughts and dialogues that come up. So release that shit with Pisces New Moon. And I wish to release all anxieties around from my energy body. 
So I have a lot of anxieties around parenting. So I'm going to be focusing on parenting and releasing those anxieties around me. So when I tend to release all victim stories that are on repeat in the mind from my energy body and replace them with stories of love and hope and joy. Physically, you know, Pisces rules the cold, like who hasn't had a cold this winter? Um, lymphatic system and poisoning and toxicity. So I wish to easily find myself drawn to information and healers that leads to me completely restoring my physical health and well-being. So that's all I'm going to say about that. You have tons to work with here. And I said a lot. So if you didn't get it jotted all down, head over to Clouds and Dirt. And all this is kind of written out in blog form. Okay. And so like last month too, I wanted to offer a ritual. And this is actually a ritual I'll be doing with my New Moon Circle. And I host um, a New Moon Circle every month for up to 10 women. So we can all sit together in circle, which honors our ancestors and goes back to those old ways of being. Uh, and it adds potency, I feel, to the energy of the new moon and also potency to our wishes and our dreams and our desires. So spirit inspires me each month with with um rituals and it's funny because inspired actually derives from the words in spirit and i love that when i was writing this out and so like not every month i will get one but last month and this month i did um that's how come i knew it was also time for me to pick up my new moon circles again so this is the one that spirit brought me this month so you will need a journal and a pen You'll need a string or a ribbon or some of that like leather. I use leather because I try to use natural elements as much as possible. Um, so I actually found some leather from um, a Manitoba community that was kind of like ethically harvest and ethically put together. So that's what I use in all my spiritual tools. Um, up to 10 beads. I don't, I don't recommend making more than 10 intentions. You'll want one bead for each intention. A candle and some tape or a stick. So you want to start by grabbing a comfortable seat, whether you like to sit in a chair at a table or sit on the floor and light your candle. And you'll want to put on some beautiful background music. I link a track that I really like. It's like called Shamanic Moon on YouTube, but I link that in the blog article if you go head over to Clouds and Dirt. And then you take some deep breaths and you start to ground yourself and you put your intentions out to Grandmother Moon and Father Sky and your own spirit that you're gonna be sitting with the intention of manifesting under these energies and in alignment with them. So you do all that while you take your deep breath work and you just start to ground yourself. And once you center, you can reread this article or listen to the podcast again, but I recommend rereading the article to be honest with you. Um, and feel into what areas that I list out um, that you may want to align your intention setting with and focus on for this new moon in Pisces. Then I want you to grab your pen and paper and I want you to start listing out a maximum of 10 intentions and wishes. They can be in alignment with the natural rhythms or whatever your soul is calling for you at this time. Once you're done writing them out, I want you to grab your string and tie a knot at the end. And I want you to grab your first bead and I want you to hold it to your heart and I want you to say out loud the intention or wish that you wrote down for your first one. I then want you to hold it up and blow into that bead. And I really want you to feel the outcome of that wish coming to fruition, right? That's the key and main ingredient to intention setting and manifesting is you need to feel it. Don't feel the path that it's gonna to take to get you there. Don't think about how to get there A, B, C, D. What does it feel when it comes true and it comes to fruition? So I want you to put that bead onto that string and put it to the bottom. And I want you to continue this for every single wish and intention that you have listed out. So once your beads are on that string, you can either like tape it like my bedroom window right here. That's where the moon rises. So I'm going to actually tape my string to the window so it gets that moon energy for the month and you keep it up there until the new moon in Aries. Now, what I'm also going to do is when I'm sitting in circle, I'm going to have this provided for all the women who sit with me and I'm going to get a stick of driftwood and I'm going to have each woman do that beadwork, but tie their strap, their leather strap to that stick. And I'm going to take it home and tend to it for the month. So I'm going to make sure it gets a space that's visible with moonlight. I'm going to look at every day and like feel into my heart that I want for my soul sisters who sat with me in circle every single woman's wishes and dreams to come true. And I'm going to tend that and take that responsibility and that honoring for um, everybody who chose to sat in circle with me that month. Um, and then so it is. 
And I truly wish that every single one of you, all of your deepest wishes come true this month. So thank you for being with me for this new moon in Pisces forecast. And I would really appreciate it if you're listening to this or if you're watching this on YouTube, if you could like leave a nice review, especially on iTunes, because that's algorithms. We're in like an algorithmic world right now. That's the only way that new people will be able to discover me. So if you could take the time to leave a positive review and follow me on Instagram, Squamish Medium, or on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook that much, to be honest with you. Um, and I wish you the most sacred of months ahead. Thank you for joining me.